Hello everyone and welcome back to my Tech vs Magic series. Today we're going to take a break from the bridge building until we get a bit more silver. In fact, we're going to work on something that might help us get some silver. We're going to go here. Way, way far away. thousand blocks or so, something like that. And we have another island here that I've cleared out. This is a lot closer to our magic city than our technical city, but it still should be good enough. Now what we're going to build here is a nuclear power plant. This is going to be our little three mile island. We'll probably need to expand it a little bit though. Out here where these shallows are. We might expand it out that way. That way we can still keep a kind of natural shape. But let's see if we're going to need to do that. So kind of the iconic image for a nuclear power plant is the cooling towers. Which are the things that are usually spitting out steam that you see whenever you see a, a nuclear power plant. And the shape of them is kind of similar to the shape of our suspension cable being a hyper hyperboid parabola. It is just that the center point is a lot higher. It's not in the center. It's roughly 78-79% of the height is where the center is. So using that and some real world numbers and our equation suspension bridge, I was able to get a general equation for the shape of that, and we can start trying to figure out how we're going to do this. As far as the reactors go, there are, I haven't actually used them since they changed the way they work several versions ago. So, I'm going to need something to test. I'm also going to need... So let's get this charging. Because it takes almost a million power to get back and forth. Where was I? I'm going to need um, a breeder, a test chamber, and probably some production chambers. The way nuclear power plants are set up is usually the big cooling tower and in the reactors in a smaller cylinder with a little dome over it that's near that. And I think we're going to have four cooling towers and probably um, I'm trying to decide if I want to level this out or not. As I say, four cooling towers and probably four reactor chambers, maybe more. I'm not sure how many actual reactors are going to be in each of those. But let's get started here. First we'll want to decide if we're going to level this and then we'll decide where we're going to put things. So something there, something there. In there, it looks like this would be better shaped for three, but if we connect it right there, maybe out there, let's see, we'll put one there, one there, one there, probably one over there. That's four, right? Yeah. 
let me do that, and I will be right back after I've filled in some of this land. And we're back. I've got this. I'm trying to decide how big I want the cooling towers. A little bit difficult. I want them small enough that we have plenty of them, but they need to be big enough to be prominent. Those are size 11, and I think that's too small. Let's try like 21. So. Move it a couple more that way out of dirt. That's 21. Hmm. Let me sleep and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we'll have them roughly like this. Round size 20, 21, something like that. For the base and... Let's see, size 20 would make the height 55. That one will need to move over a couple blocks, and that one will move over that way a couple blocks as well. And that should solve that problem. Those being a little bit too chummy. Then we'll probably have so the reactors around here. Maybe one over here, one of the more dangerous ones. Then, one here, one over here somewhere, one over here somewhere. And then a small workroom area. Probably like right in here for things like a centrifuge. A few other tools, a teleporter, a couple things like that. Maybe the gate. Hmm. So, I'm trying to decide if I want these to be odd or even. The website that I use to do the circles likes things to be even. But if I'm going to center things, I'm going to want it to be odd. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let me actually... Enter in... The two circles for odd and even. And see how that works. And I will... Be right back. Okay, I've gotten these laid out using 21 as the base uh, diameter and I found some errors in my math so this is actually going to be 39 high for 21 base and let's see there's going to be one two three four five this we got the then it's going to start to narrow and I'm going to be using some construction foam for this. Build the whole towers out of that, and I might paint them later, or I might just leave them the natural color. Which means we're going to need a whole bunch of scaffolding. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Okay. 
I will make all that scaffolding and be back once I've gotten this built. Just a quick overview and I'll tell you what the shape is going to be. Give me a second. Well, I've run into a problem. The curve for this is not as steep as I wanted it. It's supposed to curve back out, but the difference between that point and the point, the innermost point, is only about a quarter of a block. I don't want to use micro blocks, because that would make this quite a bit of a pain. The only other thing I could do is to make the tower much, much larger. Like over a hundred blocks diameter and only have one of them. Which would mean I would need to expand this island probably out to there. Be quite a bit of pain. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to think about this. Let me check the time on this. Okay. I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit and then come back probably tomorrow. And continue this episode. But it's getting late for me. But the episode's not long enough yet. So I think I will just have a transition and work on this off camera for a little bit and then be back later. And I'm back. I managed to get something that looks cooling tower like. At least spilled out of scaffolding, and now it is time to spray and pray. Whoops, that didn't work. Let's try that a little bit better. This is not going further on the other side. I do not want that. It seems odd how sometimes it will go around the corners and sometimes it won't. Like there. Let's see if we can't deal with this. Took quite a lot of scaffoldings over a thousand. But I've already checked with the builder with a handful of scaffolding to make sure that it could place it. And it seems to not have a problem with that. So I should be able to build the other three towers rather quickly with that. And then, we will move on to the next step, whatever that happens to be. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, those are done. However, I don't quite like the seams that you get with this construction foam. So we're going to try to figure out a way to get around that. One thing we could do is outline everything with stone, smooth stone. And yeah, that looks better. Another thing is we could edit the file and remove the seams ourselves. Which would give us a kind of lighter color of that. But I think 
This one is more vertically oriented texture. Where this one is sideways. Uh, final thing we could do is wait and try hardened clay. Or what we could do is edit the texture file to make it look like hardened clay. Just copy the hardened clay from a snapshot, put it on that, and I think that's what we'll do first. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is how it would look if it was covered in cyan hardened clay. Even though it looks gray, that's actually cyan. Supposedly. Which is certainly better than the default construction foam look. Though it's very dark. Maybe too dark. And that is what it will look like if we use plain clay. Which is lighter. Let's see, we will try one more thing. Construction foam without the borders and see how that looks. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I thought about maybe doing a color fading thing like this, like have the stone around the middle and at the top have just regular clay with the hardened clay at the bottom. But I don't think I like the regular clay. It has a bit too much noise. Also, coated one in Smooth stone to see how that looks. And I'm not sure between the two of them. It, I don't know, looks a little less. The details have been smoothed out with the coating. So I think we might just stick with this. Or we could switch that to clay once this gets changed back to the default texture. Alternatively, we could spray the insides of them with construction foam and leave this to get changed to hardened clay. This will look the same. another option. As far as size goes, I think this is a good size. This is actually a bit larger than we need. Probably. Um, no, it's not terrible. As far as the color goes, I'm not sure. As far as the shape goes, I'm also not sure. So why don't y'all give me your opinion on this? Should I leave them this size, but uh, spray the in or let's see, that's construction foam, even though it looks like hard clay. So should I replace that so that it looks like that, and then just line the inside with the construction foam? Should I line the outside like that with either hardened brick or smooth stone and leave the construction stone? So be that shape but either that lining on the outside or that lining on the outside. So those are your three choices. Line it on the with either construction foam or hardened clay or keep the shape and line the inside with foam. Then we can do that either hardened clay or smooth stone. So I'm not sure which one of those. Um, 
Let me see how much time we have left. Okay, this is getting close to the time that we need to end this. So... A couple more things we need to talk about. Going to have... The reactors... Reactor buildings down here. I think that one's probably going to be too small to put one there. So they'll probably all be right in here. So you could have one there. Then the other three somewhere in a line there. It's not going to leave a whole lot of room. For the office building space. And for these, um, we can make them generate smoke by using the thing from the twilight. Also, one of the mods, I can't remember which one, Railcrafter maybe, said that they added something in their 1.5 update that generates smoke. So that's something else we could put up here. And I think I will end up doing that once we come back to put the final touches on this. For now, sure. I think we'll do a little bit of work on this. I'm really just waiting for Red Power to update. Still. But according to what I've read, I can use 1.6 snapshots with the 1.5 version of Forge. So that means that mods should work with it as well. 1.5 mods should work with 1.6 and 1.6 snapshots. Which will mean the next update we won't have to wait for anything. We can just straight up update. Um, so yeah, I'm going to craft some stuff off camera between episodes. Wait for your response on this before we decide how we're going to shape those and then next episode we'll work on some reactor buildings maybe getting some automation set up I'm not really sure about the automation because I don't know what reactor designs I'm going to be using so that's part of the reason we're building it like this so yeah, like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.